In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to set up collections for your store. All a collection is, is setting up categories for all of your products to have a place to live. And this is really important because you want your customers to be able to find all the things that they're looking for without getting lost or confused. So what we're going to do, for those of you who want me to get right to the point, I'm going to show you how to set up collections in Shopify. It's really straightforward. And then we're going to circle back and take a look at some other online stores and see how they set up their collections. So first we're going to go to our Shopify dashboard. We're going to come under products here in the sidebar. We'll go down to collections. And you can see by default, I already have a home page collection set up for when we turned on the Shopify store. This is a default collection and I could use this and add products to this, but I'm going to go ahead and create another collection. It's real simple. We'll click on that blue button at the top here. We'll give this collection a title and I'll just call it apparel. I could give it a description. In this case, I'll leave it blank because it's optional and I don't need it. Down the road, I'll come back and I'll add a collection image to kind of spruce up my store. But for now, I'm going to leave this alone. I'll change my collection type from automated to manual and that way I have to manually add whatever products I want to this collection for them to show up. Otherwise, if I had it on automated, I can have it match certain conditions. So if my product has the tag and let's say maybe the tag is called new, then all of my new products would come into this collection. But for now, we're just going to leave this as manual. I'll click save. And now, if I come back to my collections, I've got my apparel collection and I've got my homepage collection. I'm going to make one more collection. We'll click on the Create Collection button. This one I'll call New. So if I have new products, I could call it new products or uh, new merchandise or whatever you want to call it. But for this, for this uh, lesson, we're just going to call it New. I'm going to make this one automated. And whenever the product tag is equal to New, that product will automatically be added into this collection. And I can make these conditions more complex. I can say if all of these conditions are met, so if I click on add another con uh, condition, I can say product condition or product tag is equal to, you know, I could give it another tag or I could say product title or type or vendor or price. We have weight, inventory, stock, variant title, compare it price. Or I can say any condition. So if any one of these, it doesn't have to be all of them, if any one of these conditions is met, then that product will get added to my collection here. So I hope that makes sense. Really straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and save my new collection. And now when I come back to my main collections tab, we have a new collection, we have an apparel collection, and we have a homepage collection. Now what I'm going to do in the next videos is we're going to actually start adding products and putting them into these collections. But before we do, I want to take a minute and have you think about what collections you'd want for your store. Or if you're working with a client, try and be very clear about what your client's going to want for their store. So as an example, if I come over here to Nike.com, depending on which part of the world you're from, you're probably calling it Nike. So it's Nike.com or Nike.com, whatever you want to call it. You can see that they have these main categories across the top. So we have new releases. We have men, women, kids, customize, and back to school. And one thing I want you to see about this back to school collection, or you could call it a category, is that in your store, maybe you want to have a different collection based on different seasons. So maybe it's Christmas, or maybe it's New Year's, or maybe it's summer, or in this case, back to school. So you can create custom collections that will go along with different sales and promotions you might be having. Once we get under any one of these collections or categories, for example, under the men category, I have shoes, I have clothing, I have accessories and equipment, and I have all kinds of different collections over here as well. Now this is a pretty extreme example of all the different categories and collections that would be available. And if I were to go look at some other Shopify websites, and I found this one by searching for some of the best Shopify sites, and I found a post on Oberlo. Oberlo, by the way, is a drop shipping application we're going to talk about in a little bit, but this is going to be something we're going to circle back to, and I'll show you how to use Oberlo to add products to your site. But for now, I just wanted to show you they do have an inspiring and successful Shopify blog post where they have a ton of different links, and that's where I found these Shopify sites that also are using the same collection setup we're using. 
So you can see that this helmboots.com probably started out with just boots. So they have their main footwear collection. They've got all styles, new arrivals, all boots, shoes, and resole. And then you can see that they've started to branch out and have added more products to their site. So now they've got the supply tab and under there there's leather care, belts, socks and laces, hats and t-shirts, accessories, gift cards, and then of course a sale tab. So any products that are on sale would be put into this collection. So now I'm going to jump over to just a couple more stores real quick. We've got one here that is a sunglass store and they have basically one tab that shop that has all of their featured products and then collections which has the basic brand or style collections that they work with. Here's one more example. It's a furniture store. They've got furniture, lighting, accessories, brands, and clearance. And then their sub collections under furniture, for example, would be chairs, loungers and easy chairs, stools, benches, sofas, etc. Okay. And then my last example for you to think about and consider is this nickmayerart.com. And the reason why I show you this is because as an artist, he's selling prints and he's got some different things such as prints and cards, also some apparel and functional art. So this is an interesting example of other ways that are maybe not as traditional for different collections that you could set up for your store. So I hope that helps you think through how you want to organize and sort your website. It becomes very important, but at the same time, don't worry about it too much because you can always come back into your collections and add or delete any of them or change the names or anything. But do try and think through a little bit before you dive right in what kind of collections you want to make for your store and what's the most important flow for your customers. And in this case, I've gone through and I've shown you some samples. So maybe take the time to find some of maybe your competitors and see how they set up their collections as well. Because what's going to happen is if your customers are shopping their websites as well, if they're already used to looking for things under a certain navigation menu, if you have your setup the same way, chances are they're going to be able to find products on your site much faster. So one more example of this would be the Under Armour website. So I had to do a Google search. I was just trying to make sure, but Under Armour is not owned by Nike. But when you look at their menu, it looks almost the same. There's very little difference. Under Nike, they've got new releases and then men, women, and then kids. Under Under Armour, it goes right into men, women, and then instead of kids, they have boys and girls separated out as a main item. If we jump back over here, they've got customized and back to school. And then also under all of these categories, they've got shoes down nested underneath. We're back on the Nike site. Back to Under Armour, they actually pull shoes out as a main option because it must be, I'm guessing, one of their top sellers and something, one of the number one things that people come to their site to look for. So all of that to say, I know this was a longer video and that's why I wanted to front load it with how to add a collection. It's really straightforward in Shopify, but I want you to think a little bit beyond just the categories and think about your customer and what that customer experience is going to be. All right. I hope you learned a ton. If you do have any questions, I know I did go through that pretty fast. In the next couple of lessons, we're going to talk about adding your products and we're going to work with collections a little bit more. So stay tuned for more.